Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel for a new LEGO military video today with the BMP3 from Russia. I have to be honest, many of you asked for uh, this project from actually ages, so I'm a little bit sorry for the delay, but finally it's here. So I hope you will enjoy the design. As usual, before starting, I would like to remind you to leave a thumbs up if you like the project, because it's always appreciated. And as a fast reminder for who is new, in the caption of the video you can find the download links for the instructions, so you can download the instructions to build it. You can find also the playlist in the caption or here in the right up corner with more projects like this one, so if you like it, check also the others. And at the end, a reminder as usual, here if you find the bright green parts in the parts list, these are not usually visible, so you can change them with any color you can find at a cheaper price. Moreover, a little news for you, in the caption you can also find a link to buy the parts at a cheaper price. This is a partnership I started just now, so if you are faithful to LEGO, don't buy them. But if you don't mind trying new parts with the same quality, I suggest you to check them. Of course, I can recommend them only because I had the chance to test them before. I built one of my design with them and later on I'll make a review video. But in this moment you can already use the link in the caption of the video to buy these uh, cheaper parts. So if you don't mind using not original parts, check them. They are perfectly compatible with original LEGO so you can mix them, don't worry. And I think that's all with the premises, we can finally start checking this uh, beautiful baby here. It is uh, quite small but full of functionalities that I'll show you uh, very soon. Of course we will not spend so much time on the overall design because you have already seen it in the photos. So let's concentrate on the little details. Here of course we have the minifigures because it's in minifigure scale. We have two little guns on the sides that of course can move in any directions thanks to the ball joints. Here we have the main turret that can rotate in all the directions. So let's move the turret first. So I can show you this one can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, let's rotate it, I don't know, this, this side for now. Of course you can aim the gun up and down as well. So this one can be I'm uh, up and down. In this moment, let's aim it uh, up. Here we have a remote viewer that, of course, can rotate as well 360 degrees. So let's rotate it. A small grenade launchers, this can be uh, moved a little bit as well. Um, here we have hatches that can be opened and you can place the minifigure inside. One here and one here. Let's open them. So. As you may see, uh, there is a little bit of space to place the minifigure inside this one. We have another little hatch here for the driver that you can open and you can see the driver inside. You have already seen the photos. Later, I'll show you the inside as well, of course, don't worry. Here on the front, we have this um, section that can be moved. This one is needed because this is an amphibious uh, machine. So this one can also be used in the water. And for the water configuration, you have this little uh, shield on the front. And here on the back, these two can open because inside here we have the little water propellers. So you can open one, open two. And you have here the propellers uh, when it's in um, the water configuration. Other moving parts we may check are here on the top. We have two little hatches that can be opened here one and of course also the other one to the other side but you can also open the whole thing here uh, completely so you can open or the hatch only or the whole thing 
just like the real one. And of course we also have here the two little hatches for the crew on the back that you can open one here and the other one here like this. From here you can also see the inside but don't worry now I'll uh, show you better the inside. Here I would like to show you also the hatches without the top open because you can also open only this that is uh, cool as well. And another thing I would like to show you here we have the air intakes for the engine and we also have a snorkel because when it goes underwater you have this snorkel that can be mounted here on the real one. So you can uh, do it also here if you want, you can remove this one, uh, disconnect the whole thing from here, uh, of course in this case you have to disconnect uh, these parts first and once you disconnect it you can use it here on the top like this. Uh, this is the snorkel for the underwater situation, um, actually I prefer to keep it here on the side but you know. It's a functionality so you can add if you if you want and I think we may check the inside of it now and this is what we have inside there is a space for minifigures if you want to add them here on the back uh, this is the rotating turret of course we have two fire extinguisher here on the on the sides and we have the space here for the driver now uh, to show you better the space for the driver you can see it from here of course Actually, maybe we can, uh, yes, let's hide it for a second. So here we have the space uh, for the driver that we can place inside here. The instruments are in bright green because they are uh, uh, my choice of instruments, but you can change them with any other you prefer. While here we have the levers, of course, to, to drive the, the tank. And actually what I wanted to show you is what you can see from the outside. So when there is a driver inside and you open the little hatch here, you can see the driver and some instruments. That's why I wanted to add them, but again, it's up to you. And I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed the BMP3 from Russia. I actually really liked to make it because it's very small, very compact, but at the same time I was able to add many details like these peculiar hatches you have seen here. So, and actually also the turret was quite challenging to, to make. So I really like it. Let me know if you want maybe different turrets for it because this uh, IFV is available with different turrets as well, as well as the camos. So you will find more camos for it uh, during the time and be able to download them for free, just like uh, I do with my iCraft and other machines. And that's all for today, the video is finished. I hope you enjoyed this little fella. If yes, remember to leave a thumbs up. And yes, I have to remind you again about it. As well as the usual reminder about leaving me a comment and let me know what you want to see next. Checking my other videos that you can find in the playlist, in the caption or here in the right up corner. And as usual, see you again next week with a new video. Bye.